Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome all the participants today here on Zoom, as well as those who are joining us live on the Facebook today. Uh, we will start with land acknowledgement. In the spirit of reconciliation, I take this opportunity to acknowledge that we live, work, and play on the ter traditional territories of Blackfoot and the people of the Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta which include the Siksika, the Pekani, the Kanai, the Sutina, and Estoni Nipoda First Nations, including Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nation. The city of Calgary is also home to the people of Metis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Now I would like to thank our program funder, Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, for their continuous support. And without their support, we, will, we won't be able to bring this uh, wonderful webinars to all our participants. So thank you, IRCC. And now a few house rules. So please keep your microphone on mute all the time. Please make sure they're on mute so it won't disturb our presenter. Please, your camera turned off. It's very important. Please, your camera's off because we are going live on the Facebook as well. So please make sure your cameras is off. No abusive language will be tolerated, obviously. And please do not post any per personal information in the chat box. Uh, after the presentation, uh, presentation, if you have any questions, you can write them in a chat box and I will read them to the presenter for you. Or you can just raise your hand and ask those your question directly to the presenter as well. So please hold your question for the end of the presentation. And we will send an evaluation link after the presentation. And I will really encourage everyone to please fill those forms for, form for us. It's a very small form, it will hardly take a minute, but your feedback is very valuable to us. So I will really encourage everyone to please fill those forms for us. Again, I will request everyone to please use the same name on Zoom, which you have used at the time of registration. So we don't miss you uh, when we are sending the material after the presentation, okay? Now, I would like to thank Natalie, Sonia, and Fola from Tech Carrier to joining us today. Uh, I know your schedule is so busy and thanks a lot taking time out for all of our participants today and coming here and sharing all these valuable information from them. So thank you once again and over to you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Um, it would be great if whoever has their cameras on, if I can get a thumbs up just to ensure that it is sharing correctly. Awesome. Um, I'm going to mute myself and Fola will start for start us off. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nobel. Thank you, Manikshi, Menakshi, and Sonia. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll start off um, talking about manpower. So we're from manpower and we're from the workforce development team. We have a couple of programs right now and you know we are very much dedicated to helping you know clients in whatever capacity they need you know that supports to help you get back into re-employment or you know if you need retraining or getting that course up to get you back into re-employment right. So we do also support and train unemployed individuals in Alberta from entry level skills to professionals, you know, just being ready and being motivated to find that full-time employment as quickly as possible. We are here to give you that full support. So we're gonna go on, we're talking about each of the programs that we have. So first off, um, my name is Paula, as everyone has mentioned, and I'm introducing myself again. I'm the program lead for the Tech Careers um, program with Manpower, which is one of the workforce development programs as well. So basically, um, what the Tech Careers program is, is, is a no-cost government-funded training program, and we do currently offer five different course streams within the Tech Careers program, right? And like you see on the screen, there's the first one, which is the data analytics, the second one, which is the digital marketing with UI, UX design, and full-stack developer, which we have in partnership with SAIT. And then we have two others, which we have a partnership with Retrain Canada, which is cyber security, then the AR, VR, software development and design. So basically, you know, you get into that, get all those skills that are needed to pivot into the tech industry, right? Right now, we see that the tech industry is really up there and it's booming. Everyone is looking to get into that space right now. We provide those kind of trainings for our veterans to get into that program as well.
So we'll talk about the first one, which is the data analytics program, right? So before you know, you get on board and all those, right? We've always provide information sessions to talk about each of the um, streams that we provide, right? So each of the program is usually varies for the weeks that are going to be done, right? So the first one, which is a data analytics program, you receive that program and you get that foundation in analytics predictive analytical tools, probability statistics, just, you know, ensuring that you get into that space. There are different, you know, roles or skills that I get into this program, right? So for example, if you're a data analytics professional, you could choose to be in data engineering, you could choose to be in the data science, right? You know, cleaning up data for organizations, for companies that are looking to, you know, strategize and make sure that their business is, you know, running smoothly as well, right? So the program, is taught by SIT, which is the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, right? And then basically it involves data analysis and dimensional modeling, data literacy, statistics, Python, machine learning, business analytics, you know, having that evolution of projects management as well, and also getting into that agile projects management in data analytics. So it's a very good program, you know, getting into that and ensuring that, you know, you get the training that I needed. And then the program is also run for 12 weeks, right? And once you're done, you also get a support from the team, you know, helping you get that employability skills, your resume, LinkedIn, cover letters and things like that, right? So that's one of the streams. The second stream, which we have, is the digital marketing and social media with the UI UX design. So basically, if you're looking to get into that space of, you know, social networking, search engine optimization, you know, other areas, introduction to digital paid media, getting that, you know, data marketing analytics as well, right? So once you're done with this program, you get, you know, the certificate of achievements in digital marketing and social media, right? So in this program, in this stream, you get introduction to digital marketing, digital paid media, SEO, social media and content distribution, website and content management, online direct marketing, digital marketing analytics, marketing essentials, and things like that, right? So you get all that done, and that's also done and provided by, with seats. But one thing we want to mention is that um, before you get right into training providers, once you get on the program, after you do the assessments with us, all the questions, answers, and things like that, you have one week with us that has that employability skills with training. And I also mentioned that we we'll touch base on your resume, cover letters, the skills that are needed to get into that industry as well. So that's that for the digital marketing. The third one is the full stack developer training. Right. So what you get is that foundational training in full stack software development, you know, with object oriented programming fundamentals, introduction to Java programming, having that intermediate Java programming, how to, you know, do those web com component development with servlets, business components, advanced Java net development and things like that. Right. So you get all that training done. And this is also provided by seats, which is the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. The ARVR, which is one of those streams that we get onto, I know that you have questions about, okay, what's ARVR, right? So it's that augmented reality and virtual reality software development. And it's basically, if you're interested in getting into that gaming aspect, right? Software development in the gaming aspect of things, right? So what you would do is you get that foundational knowledge, right? And what we usually let clients know and participants know is that when you're on this program, you also need to do a lot of self-learning, right? So, you know, once you're taught in class, you do all that, you know, you go on LinkedIn Learning, Coursera, Udemy, LinkedIn, um, sorry, and all of that platform as well to help you understand as well. But, you know, you have the instructors there to also teach you if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have, you know, you're curious about particular things as well, right? And this would be taught by um, Retrain Canada and they provide worldwide recognized certificates. So you have nothing and absolutely nothing to worry about on this program. So on this program, you learn things like 3D modeling with Blender, you know, how to build a product, working with, you know, the gaming, virtual reality, and, you know, having that architectural visualization, right? I know there's a lot of tech, you know, 
tech lingos I'm using, but you know, once you do your research into this, you will find out more about you know this industry and how it can help you, you know, pivot if you're interested in going into that as well. So one of the streams that we also have is the cybersecurity stream. And I'm going to let Natalie also talk about that um, when she's talking about our program, but it's also one of the streams as well. And yeah, that would be that on cybersecurity. It's also taught by Retrain, but like I said, I'll leave that to Natalie to you know delve more. It's Natalie's baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fola. Yeah, yeah. so um we in the fall we're actually going to have two cybersecurity programs running just because it's in such demand um so full is going to be running a cybersecurity program and my team is running a cybersecurity program it's they're actually the same um it's the same training the the biggest difference is um, i believe Fola's training will be in person this fall and i'm going to be doing some virtual training with retrain um, and of course, my, my program is specific for immigrants, whereas FOLA is going to be open to all, all Canadians. So um, there's the two streams. So there's going to be um, lots of spots available and both programs are starting in September. So I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about the um, Tech Career Cybersecurity. Um, okay, so um, the, the program structure um, so we've got basically four components to the program. So there's employability skills, occupational skills, work experience, and job search support. So um, as Fola already mentioned, in all our programs, we do have employability skills. And so what this refers to is, um, you know, things like resume, cover letter writing, tips and tricks for success in your interviews, um, practicing your networking skills. You also help with setting up LinkedIn profiles um, or other social media if, um, if our clients are interested. Um, and we also bring in um, guest speakers and industry experts to talk um, specifically about um, cybersecurity and the fields um, to, to really provide that insight from people that are working in that field. Um, and then, of course, with that, there is opportunities to find mentors. Um, so the bulk of the training is provided by Retrain Canada, and it is 12 weeks, and it's broken down into two main components. So the first six weeks is cybersecurity, um, cyber foundations, and quality assurance testing, um, and it's going to cover topics like intro to security, um, operating systems, networking fundamentals, um, really talk a little bit about Bash and Python scripting, basic encryptions and reporting and communication. Um, the purpose of the, the first six weeks is to really ensure that all our students um, that have a wide range of backgrounds really get, really get that basic um, information so that everybody can be successful um, in the second half of the program and have the same base knowledge going into it. Um, so the last six weeks is applied penetration testing. Um, and that is gonna cover things like Kali Linux, command line fund, um, passive information gathering, vulnerability scanning, locating exploits, password attacks. Um, and this is just to, just to name a few. Um, at the end of the, um, the training, retrain, there is potential to gain two certifications. So again, there's the um, Cyber Foundations and Quality Assurance certification, and then the Applied Pen Testing certification. In order to receive those certifications, you do have to have a 70% um, throughout the training program. Um, if you don't receive the, that um, certificates, um, on our end, we will still work with you to help you find employment. We'll just have to um, figure about which, you know, what field um, in cybersecurity you would like to pursue. Um, so just a quick recap. So again, there's one week of employability skills training, 12 weeks of the occupational skills training with retrain. Um, we do offer four weeks of um, a potential for internship or work experience. Um, this is, you know, not guaranteed, um, but it is a great, um, a great way for our, our students to bridge the gap between um, training and having that, um, that hands-on experience in the workplace. Um, and then, of course, there's three months of job search 
support followed by a 90 day follow up period. And we just want to make sure that once our clients um, get into employment, that they're able to maintain that um, for a minimum of, of 90 days. Oh, I think our slides have gotten jumbled, but yeah, so this is the work experience. So as I said, you know, it's, it's the purpose is to provide that bridge between um, the training and employment. Um, it's, not, it's not guaranteed. Um, what we'll do is we'll work with each student to see if going into that work experience makes sense or perhaps just going straight into employment. Um, and again, the fourth comp uh, component was that employment and uh, job search support. So what we do um, is my team, we're gonna actively market um, um, you and, and the program to employers um, to help find those um, work experiences or job opportunities. Um, again, there's opportunity for mentorship and coaching support. Um, and this will continue through the, through the course of the program as well as the follow-up period. Um, again, access to industry events. Um, and of course, as I mentioned before, the three month follow up support. Um, so again, the application process, um, it, it's pretty simple. There's basically what we do is we complete a pre screen and that's to check basic eligibility. Um, we will ask that you complete a uh, career investigation report. Um, and the purposes that, of that report is really to get a sense um, of what your career goals are, what your objectives are, to really make sure that this program um, is going to meet your needs. Um, and then we do a employability assessment. These right now are usually virtual. Um, and what it is, is just a chance for us to talk one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Um, and we just talk about what your employment history has been like, um, what your education is, what, what are some of the barriers that you are facing right now in finding employment? And again, how we can help support that. Um, and then again, there may be um, opportunity for a second um, interview if needed. Um, and just a few tips for success in the program. Um, there, there is some computer specifications here. Um, the biggest thing that we've noticed, it, it's really important that there's a computer with at least four to eight um, gigabytes of RAM. Um, most computers have this. Um, if you don't have a computer that meets these specifications, that's okay, we can still work with you. Um, we may be able to provide you some referrals to um, organizations that'll help you get a, a computer that suits your need. Um, and, and we do have some opportunity to leverage um, computers through retrain. Um, again, this isn't a, a necessity, but it is certainly um, gonna help you be successful in the program. Um, and what we also look for, we look for students that are engaged with a desire to exceed. Um, and you need to be an active participant in all elements of the program. So that not only means being um, an active participant while you're in training, but you really do need to work with us um, on the updating your resumes, um, really making sure that you're participating in mock interviews, um, do, helping us with your job search. Um, and then again, you know, strong time management skills are an asset as well. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Sonia to talk a little bit more about the FinTech Careers Program. Awesome. Thank you, Natalie. So FinTech, also known as financial technology, is used to describe new technology that seeks to improve the delivery and use of financial services. FinTech is utilized to help companies, business owners, and consumers better manage their financial operations, processes, and lives by utilizing specialized softwares, logarithms that are used on computers and smartphones. Originally referred to computer technology applied to the back office of banks and trading firms, FinTech now describes a broad variety of technological interventions into the personal and commercial finance space. Um, so what our program goal is to provide technology-driven training to all Alberta professionals who are either in or pivoting into the financial services and fintech sector and support participants in finding and maintaining a full-time employment career in the financial technology service industry. Um, so we provide support in the areas of self-marketing, preparation for effective skill articulation to employers in the fintech sector. As you can see here, we have two training providers as well. Um, so the first one here, as you can see, is Retrain Canada. So they are a Alberta-based corporate training and skills development company built on home ground innovations and the remote delivery of live instruction from experienced mentors and industry experts. 
and then SAIT, also known as Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. They are a community of thinkers, creators, champions, leading change and reimagining the workforce of tomorrow. Um, so in saying that, we have a pretty similar program overview. Um, so we do have a employability skills portion, which would be two weeks. This is where you would be building your resume, cover letters, interview preparations, job searching techniques, LinkedIn, building network and your connections, as well as guest speakers and industry experts. After that, you would be going through your occupational skills training, which is eight weeks. So this is where you would be doing four different classes. So emerging technologies and digital banking, cybersecurity basics, and then you're able to pick one of three of our core training streams. So this includes customer service and contact center, financial services representative and bookkeeping admin. We do have a potential for work experience for up to four weeks as well. And then you do have 90 days for job placement and follow up with us too. So I'll delve into a little bit more detail here in terms of the job placement and support. Um, so we actively market to suitable employers for work experience as well as job placement for you guys. You get three months of follow-up support to the client and the employer. We do establish on-site mentorship if needed. So you're able to come into our office as well, or we can do it virtually with you. You do also get access to industry insiders events. In terms of retention and follow-up support, uh, we do support you for three months following your job placement. We schedule weekly check-ins to monitor your competencies and mediate any issues. Your support will be provided to the client and employer to resolve any workplace issues threatening job retention. And we also provide assistance and additional support for those who lose their jobs as well. So in terms of eligibility for all of our programs, you do need to be over the age of 18 years old and out of school for one year. You do need to be unemployed or marginally employed. Immigrant to Canada, legally entitled to work in Canada, so you do need to be a citizen or a PR. Resident of Calgary or surrounding areas. A CLB of seven, ready, willing, and able preferred, especially for the tech careers programs, professionals with prior education or experience in information technology or computer science, and EI eligibility preferred. So when it comes to Natalie's program, um, like she said earlier, it is the cybersecurity program, which is for immigrants, whereas FOLAs will be open to anyone. And then the FinTech Cruise program is open to anyone as well. Awesome. Thank you, we're looking forward to your questions. Um, I see a couple here in the chat. Um, is this program free? Yes, our programs are all free to our participants as we are government funded. Uh, and sorry, uh, I think we'll have to conclude the Facebook here. Um, and say bye to the Facebook Live audience, and then we will start taking questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for a great presentation. It was very detailed, and I think it was a great presentation. You covered everything. Uh, over here, we will say goodbye to our audience uh, joining us live on Facebook before we do question and answer session. So thank.